So, meditation is a process of becoming aware of the creation about us in a new way, of quieting the preconceived and negative impressions of our world and letting the higher reality of the true creation take its place in our conscious awareness. This is decidedly not an easy thing for most of us to do. It is very difficult for man on this planet to look about him and realize the truth for what it actually is. He has been conditioned through his thinking and through the thoughts of others for a very long period of time to see things as they are given to him rather than as they really are. The way that they really are, my friends, is extremely simple. This simplicity is within each of the children of the Creator. Each of them possesses all of the knowledge that was the original creation. It is only necessary that they avail themselves to that knowledge. And this is very simple. It is done through the process of meditation. When this is done, all the truth and beauty of the original creation become apparent. And then it will not be possible for the individual to be fooled by the illusion. He will not see his fellow man in any form but perfection even though within the illusion he has been taught to disdain. This was not planned by the Creator. The Creator only planned that each of His creations should express itself in any way that He choose. This, my friends, is perfection. If man on earth could only realize this, he would once more think in total harmony with the original creation. This may be done on an individual basis. It is not necessary that this be understood in an intellectual sense or by anyone else than the individual endeavoring to reach this understanding. This has been demonstrated upon your planet before. The man most familiar to you having demonstrated his understanding is known to you as Jesus. He made the simple realization and then demonstrated it by his activities, this understanding. It was not necessary that he be understood by his fellow man, for it is impossible to force externally upon another individual this understanding. It is only possible that this understanding be attained from within. But yet, this man demonstrated this understanding, pointing out a pathway, a guidepost for others, so that they too could find the original creation and once more lead themselves from darkness to light. For light, my friends, is eternal and infinite and real. The rest is illusion. Go within. Become aware of reality. It is within each of you. It is not in complexity that we find the Creator. It is in simplicity that we find Him. Contactees who are members of the different cultures of Earth receive messages about the spiritual leaders in their particular culture. In our Western culture, the messages most often relate to Jesus. This man known to you as Jesus was born into the physical upon your planet. He was able to realize the truth of the creation and then he was able to demonstrate this truth to those about him. This man came into the physical on your planet as have many teachers in the past. Each of these teachers came into the physical for the purpose of serving the people of this planet. However, it was up to them to carry out this service. Each of them did it in his own way. 
This is within the limits of our understanding of the intent of our Creator. These teachers were limited, limited by the same conditions that each of you and that each of all the people on the planet experience. The people of this planet have misinterpreted the meaning of these men. The people of this planet are at this time misinterpreting the meaning of the man known to you as Jesus. His purpose in his life was to demonstrate that it is possible, through an awareness of the Creator's truth, to experience what the Creator planned for each of us. This man worked what was called miracles. These were truly miracles to those who thought of them as miracles, but this was given to each of the Creator's children. He was simply demonstrating the results of thinking in the original way as planned by our Creator. He was also demonstrating that it is possible for anyone at any time to demonstrate this type of thinking and therefore the abilities that accompany it. Unfortunately, the people have very much misinterpreted this man's life and teachings. He was attempting to provide an example of understanding so that each of the children of the Creator could seek the same understanding. This is the task of any teacher upon this planet or any other place in the creation. This is our task at this time. This man Jesus taught brotherly love of one another and love of the Creator through his understanding of the Father and his creation. He was able to demonstrate miracles, as you call them. These were not miracles, but normal, natural things that man can do when he realizes his kinship with the Creator and expresses this love of the creation. All mankind are the sons and daughters of the Creator, not just one. We respect and love this man, Jesus, because he, out of many, was able to realize and demonstrate his true relationship with the Creator, as all people of this planet are capable of doing if they would but learn the truth. There was a teacher once known to you as Jesus, this man had a desire. His desire was to serve his fellow man by demonstrating a knowledge of the Creator's love. Through this desire, he accomplished things that you know as miracles. This man had true desire. It is only possible to achieve true desire by initiating this yourself. If you are able to initiate a desire that is a true desire, then you will achieve what you desire, just as the man known to you as Jesus achieved what he desired. He achieved what he desired because he desired to serve his fellow man in a way that was in harmony with the desires of the Creator. For he realized his unity with the Creator. The Master known as Jesus then was demonstrating the understanding that he was one with the Creator. His vibration thus came into harmony with the vibration of the creation, a vibration of total love. This vibration of the Creator was understood by him, and he desired that we understand it also. Hatan speaks to us also on this theme. At this time I wish to speak to you upon our understanding of truth. We could give to you many things. We could tell you many mysteries that would interest you. However, we consider that it is first necessary to first provide for the peoples of this planet a simple truth. That is, in reality, all that anyone in this creation needs to know. After this truth is understood, the rest of the mysteries vanish, 
for this truth is the key to a total understanding of creation. This truth is the pathway to all truth. I shall at this time speak upon this truth. I am my sisters and brothers who are with me in the name of the infinite creator. Understand a simple truth. That is the important concept in this creation. This simple truth is that the creation is one. The creation is one thing. Everything you can imagine, everything that you can see, everything that you cannot see, all that there is, is one thing. This is not realized by most of the people of this planet at this time. Due to this, they are experiencing conditions that they do not desire. It will be necessary if an individual is to find the pathway that he or she desires for him or her to realize the truth of the simple statement, There is no separation. Separation is an illusion. All things are one thing, the creation. To affect one part of the creation is to affect the creation. We are here to aid the people of this planet Earth, but we are here to aid ourselves. It is impossible to give service to others without serving yourself. For you and those whom you serve are the same. You are one. Man continually progresses up the ladder towards perfection, and though a rung may break under the weight of his many errors, still his goal is to reach the top and oneness with the infinite creator.